Okay, good. So let's go through the actions today. Always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness and mercy because as humans, our actions are not perfect. We discussed this in the context of Musa alayhi salam. That he asked for mercy for himself and his brother Harun alayhi salam while his people, you know, uh, did the shirk. Although he himself did not do it, but he asked for mercy because, you know, human beings are not perfect. And we saw a similar example with Ibrahim alayhi salam while, while he was building the holy Kaaba. By the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is one of the most pious of deeds, because you see billions of people praying after that who have come in this world and who continue to pray, and all the reward goes to Ibrahim. Yet, while building the Holy Kaaba, while he was asked uh, to do that uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he kept on asking for forgiveness on, on, and mercy. So, even when we are doing, obviously, when we make a mistake, when we do a, 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 an unlawful thing, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness and mercy. But even when we are doing any good things, or good acts, they are not perfect. We should continue to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness and mercy. Yes, Omar. Sorry, is there a comment? Please go ahead. Yes. There is no harm in asking for forgiveness. Correct. You're right. There is no harm. If anything, you will continue to benefit because sometimes you don't even know what wrong you have done. So you're right. There is no harm for asking in forgiveness. It should be our way. Uh, we should continue to pray. There are many some small prayers, small du'as that we should learn uh, to ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. Um, then there were three actions that came from one ayah. Number one of them was encourage ma'aruf and forbid munkar, meaning promote goodness, the right things and stop evil, the wrong things if they are happening in front of you. And ma'aruf is something that is good, known good, uh, that should be more propagated. And it is regardless of religion or, you know, Anything people know that some things are good and some things are bad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has built it in our fitra, as we call nature. Um, so we have been asked, we have been encouraged by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we should encourage more and more good things and good acts and rightful things and stop evil. And similar to this, we should adopt lawful the pure goodness and pure and good acts and things and refrain from unlawful khabais. Khabais are evil and bad actions and things that uh, that people do. So we have been asked to adopt lawful uh, and refrain from unlawful khabais. And finally, the last action, again coming from the same ayah was, in order to be successful in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is something that we should strive for. So the action is be successful in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what you need to do is believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we have to honor and respect him we have to say the blessings and pass the blessings to him every time we take his name because the holy Quran came by him and he is uh, he has the highest ranks amongst the uh, the mankind so we should honor him in that same the same way and same regard to the best of our capabilities and then we should help him to so those people who will help him Helping means passing on his message um, and his cause of spreading Islam because the Islam needs to be spread to the future generation as well, to the people who have come after the time of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. So his cause needs to be furthered and follow the light sent down with him, which is the Holy Quran, the light that basically enables us to see the right path, the, the prayer that we make uh, in order to be successful in this life with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in Surah Fatiha, that we also pray five times a day, that please show us the right path of the people who were blessed and take us away from the path of those people who went astray and who did good uh, upon themselves. So basically, uh, we have to follow the light sent down with him, uh, with the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is the Quran, and the way it is explained by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in his hadith and shown to us with his action, which is the sunnah of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa